Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is the best-selling cookbook author and beloved host of the Food Network's Barefoot Contessa. Please welcome Ina Garten. Okay. Hello. Oh, there you are. <laughs> there you are, too. Great. <laughs> I, 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 you know, one of the things I love about your show is that it's so intimate. I feel like I'm in your kitchen <laughs> while you're cooking. So I'm totally prepared for this kind of intimacy right now. <laughs> That's it's isn't it great? I mean, you can do it from home. It's not the same, but it's still it's it's different. It's so, it's interesting to see where people live. Yes. And, and you get a sense of who they think they are by what's behind them, right? Don't right. you? Yes, I can tell who you are because you have you have uh, cabinets uh, behind me. I'm in the kitchen. Where else? Would cabinets, I be? exact hospitality behind you is what you have. <laughs> you have a dinner party ready to happen behind you. I have a big I have a big sign with my own name on it, so with that tells you who I am. <laughs> now, you and Jeffrey have been married for 52 years, yeah. which is beautiful. Um, have you learned anything new about Jeffrey <laughs> you know, from when, this uh, intimate time together? <laughs> when we were married for, I think, like a year and a half, we had four months and nothing to do and, and no money. <laughs> he was going to graduate school. And I just, we just decided that what we were going to do was get two really cheap tickets to, to Europe. We bought an orange pup tent, which was like, I mean, you know, three feet tall. And we lived in that pup tent for four months. Oh and I, at the end of that, I thought, if we're still such good friends, we can survive anything. So being quarantined in a whole house is like a luxury. <laughs> it was really, it was, it was the moment you knew everything was going to be okay. Now, a couple weeks ago, uh, you made a bit of a splash, had a viral moment when you posted on Instagram <laughs> uh, making a cocktail in a huge martini glass <laughs> i just i don't know why it just i it's i i had this glass and i thought oh this would be really funny i had yes. no idea what was going to happen it was like a bomb exploded <laughs> are we making you, cocktails together i hope so oh, but good. the fact that somebody has a martini glass we, that size says a lot about the it person says something about my friends that they think i need a glass this size yeah. it was a gift yeah Exactly. There's something I to... that one too. Cheers. Yeah, but do you have the largest cocktail shaker ever? I, I do. I don't I'm have it in the room. The... You do? I don't have it in the room. I'll get, I'll get it. I almost gave me this cocktail shaker. And wait, I'm, are you ready? What? I'm ready to make a cocktail. I'll make my cocktail. You make your cocktail. Okay, great. Okay. I'm okay, gonna I'll ask you some other questions. Okay. Okay. What time, what time did you post that video, by the way, the other day? <laughs> I was afraid you were going to ask that. It was 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> I mean, so what, it's a virus, you know, if you're quarantined, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. You can have chocolate cake in the morning and you can have breakfast for dinner. What kind of drink are you making, Ina? I'm making cosmopolitan. What are you making? I'm it's making an espresso drink. martini. It's a martini? Oh, I think you've been having more An espresso martini. Ooh, Just that sounds Something to keep me going to the show. Shot of espresso, <laughs> some, uh, some Kahlua, yeah. some, some vodka. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, it's it's lovely. Uh, a nice uh, chunk of ice in here. Uh, there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that you're doing it on your desk. Is this a very natural place for you to be doing it? <laughs> no, nothing about this is natural. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. You have to do it for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So what did you learn about your wife that you didn't know before quarantine? <sighs> how patient she could be with me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Though I had, I had hints of it over the years. Now, you're, you're known for throwing fabulous dinner parties. A lot of people are having cocktail parties, uh, dinner parties. What is the secret to throwing a good tele-dinner party? You know, it's interesting. I thought, um, I haven't done a Zoom dinner party, but a friend said we should do it. And she said the key is that everybody's eating the same thing. So you not only have that experience of seeing each other, but in fact, you have the experience of really, um, of smelling the same thing and eating the same thing. Wait a minute, you have a human sized cocktail there. I have a very large one, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. cheers. I, didn't, I didn't have enough I coffee. I play, sure, I'll, I'll take a sip at least. I think I need Jeffrey to help me with this. Is Jeffrey there? He is. <laughs> Jeffrey, are you here? Uh-oh, he's lurking around. Right. <laughs> I think this is a two-person cocktail, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's you Jeff rarely see people put crazy straws in a martini. Hey, Jeffrey, good to see you. 
Good to and see you. You want to see how we do? How we? How we are so good together in, in quarantine? A straw for you. <laughs> a straw for me. We're good. Yes. <laughs> Though technically, I think the straws are supposed to be six feet long. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. good, isn't it? I know. Now this is a time of great anxiety for a lot of people. What do you? What do you do? What calms you down? Um, what do we do that calms us down? You know, I think anything that makes you feel normal calms me down. Like I kind of forget, like we get in the car and we drive to the beach and listen to a podcast, mm -hmm. you know, just take a ride or what, I don't know, make watch a movie. Watch a movie. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. things like normal things work during the day. I cook, I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I had no idea what this is going to be. Fortunately, I like to cook. One of my favorite things about the show, is, Jeffrey, is when Ina sends you on chores. <laughs> Which I think can't you leave the house. What chores wrong. is she sending you to do now? <laughs> well, now I can't. Now I can't go out. <laughs> yeah, that's his so, excuse. Yeah, that's my yeah, sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, you'd help if you could. It's hard to get water, <laughs> get bottles of water. Okay, you're good. Okay. Yeah. Good Thanks to see coming. you. <laughs> good to see you. Okay. Bye, Jeffrey. Very busy. <laughs> See at the cheese shop. <laughs> He's such a good sport. <laughs> Ina, um, you know, I know you like to. I know you like to bake. Have you? Are you baking anything new lately? Well, you know, I'm working on. A, um, I have a book coming out in the fall, appropriately called Modern Comfort Food. How is that oh. for prescient? And sure. um, the two things in there that I like the most are something I've worked on for years, literally years, Boston cream pie, and I finally nailed it. So I love Boston cream pie. Yeah, I know, and it's usually boring, isn't it? It's like sure. sweet and more sweet and vanilla and chocolate. <laughs> it's, so I made a really good one. Uh, please, and, um, save me a slice. And cookies, what? Save me a slice, please. I'll save you a slice. <laughs> and you know, I know you're a good baker because you made me the most delicious apple raisin cookies after the last time I was on the show. I was oh. so touched that you did that. Oh, I'm so glad you liked them. I was a little nervous to send them out to Ina no, Garten. so but... good. Do you share the recipe? No. <laughs> it was so good, no. Old family I recipe. can't remember it. <laughs> it. They were really good. And it was the next morning, I couldn't believe you went home and oh. baked cookies. Yeah, I Thank essentially you. was trying to make my own Pop-Tarts. <laughs> now, a lot of people are cooking with whatever's in their pantry right now. Yeah. You know, they're sort of re rediscovering why they got those can of, you know, cannellini beans four years ago. <laughs> so many what, beans. What is, what is, what are the staples that everybody should have? Like, what, name three things that everybody maybe wouldn't think of, but really they should have to sort of stretch their pantry. Um, what's really important to have? I mean, certainly like olive oil, um, pop, all different kinds of pasta, um, mm -hmm. canned tomatoes. Um, you can, you know, you can make so many things so that you can make um, soup, you can make pasta, you can make a frittata with, um, with spaghetti in it. You can make all kinds of things. I think those are big ones. And I know people keep writing to me. I started this Instagram post sort of saying what I'm cooking every day from the, from the pantry. And people are sending in, you know, like, what do I do with the, you know, the, the, um, the runner beans or the, I don't know, some kind of like red beans that I have in the, in the pantry. I'm like, everybody got beans, but nobody knows what to do with them. Right. And carbohydrates are a great tranquilizer. Forget the vegetables in your, your refrigerator. A friend of mine said she got all these vegetables and all these really healthy grains and she went to the refrigerator and all she wanted was a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what we want. Ina, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you in person again. Oh, great to see you. Have, stay safe. Have fun. You too. And celebrate everything. Ina Garten, everybody. We'll be right back. Cheers.